when you have a project that requires a booklet or a packet, Adobe InDesign is a really great software to use. So this video, we're going to go over some setup options and some how-tos for making a book or booklet. So the first thing I did is I opened Adobe InDesign and I'm going to go ahead and start a new document by coming here to New and File. The first thing that I want to do is I always want to change the units, so I'm going to change this from picas to inches. And then I'm going to decide what size sheets that I want this document to have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to 8.5 by 11. And it's totally up to you. 11 by 17 could potentially work for you as well. And I'm also going to decide if the orientation is going to be portrait or landscape. So for this example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do landscape. What the heck? Why not? The next thing I'm going to make sure is checked is this facing pages. So that's going to allow me to have kind of like an open book in InDesign where I can actually lay out things as though I'm looking at a magazine or a book opened up. So I am definitely checking facing pages. That's what that indicates. Everything else looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. As you can see, the InDesign screen changes. I want to make sure that I'm working in Essentials Classic. That's just my preference of what this whole thing looks like. And I changed that right up here in the right hand upper corner. Now every book or booklet has a single cover sheet, for instance, like a cover page, uh, which is what we're basically looking at here right now on the screen. If, if I scroll up and down, you just see that we just have a single sheet of paper on a gray background and it's acting like the cover for this document. Now, usually, again, when you open a book, there are usually two pages that face each other. And so what I'm about to show you is how to kind of add those facing pages to this document. Now, over on the right hand side of the screen in this panel, you should see uh, a little button that says pages. Go ahead and click on that and it opens up the side panel. At the top of the side panel, you see two options. You see a single sheet, uh, which is basically labeled as none. And then you also see two facing pages and that's called an A parent. These are kind of like templates. Uh, they're preformed sheets that you can add to your document. I might uh, explain how you can add different types of these little templates in a future video, but for now and the purposes of what we're doing, we're just going to work with single sheets and facing sheet templates. Now below that line, you should see a single sheet with an A in the top right hand corner and the number one. This is representing the current page that's showing in the workspace. Uh, again, our cover page. If I want to add a set of facing pages underneath our cover sheet, there's a couple of different ways that we go about this. There's the drag method and there's the right click method. Either method works. You just got to choose one and follow it. So the first one I'm going to show you is the drag method. It's very simple. If I want to take a parent, I'm going to click on both of these sheets. I'm going to use the control button, click and drag it down into this little work area right here. And you should see that it populates here and it also populates here. So now here's the cover sheet and now this is what I'm going to see on the two facing pages after it. So just to demonstrate that one more time, if I want a parent, I can actually click on the words a parent, click and drag this down below and you'll see that another set of facing pages kind of came up. So cover sheet, this is the back side of the cover sheet. So see how that kind of works? It's kind of like a magazine. That's one method. I'm going to undo a couple times just to show you the second method, which is called the right click method. Right down here, I can choose right click, insert pages. And this little window pops up. So pages is how many pages that I want. And a page is really considered a single sheet. So if I want a double page, I'm going to need to select two, four, six, you know, even numbers. Where do I want to insert this? Now I could insert some pages before 
this cover sheet, but I really don't. I only have one sheet, so it's currently kind of grayed out. I don't really have a lot of options. And then what kind of template do I want? What's the parent sheet that you want to have? So I am definitely going to go with a parent, click OK. And there that second sheet has kind of popped up. The right click method is good if you want to insert sheets like in between other sheets. No, honestly, you can do that the same thing with the drag method. Like I can grab this and I, you can kind of see that little indicator like where I can actually drop this sheet. See how this is before pages two and three? So there's that drop sheet and it placed it that way. Now that I have some sheets to work with, now it comes time to start working on the design. So that is where you just come over to the tools and you just can start putting things. But what's nice about the facing pages that I want to show you is that uh, like I could have a graphics that span the entire sheet. Uh, so I can kind of play with how it's going to look and how it's formatted as I would open up the booklet. So here's this. I'm going to just kind of demonstrate this as well. I'm going to do an ellipse and we can have it sit just like this. Maybe that's going to be green. And then if I wanted to add text, just to kind of show you how that can work, I'm going to create a text box. I am also going to come up to type and just to fill it in with some text so that you can kind of see how this works. Fill with placeholder text and then if I want this text to wrap around this shape, I can come up to window and I can choose text wrap and this will allow me to say that I want this object to have text wrap around it and actually I want it to be a little bit more like this where it's wrapping around the whole object and then here I can tell it like how big of the margins that I want that to be so 0.25 inches look at that that kind of gives me a really nice break around that and then just to kind of repeat the same thing here on the other side I'm gonna do this I'm gonna place some text in there just to kind of show you how this works and see how well that already just wraps right around. Now you, sometimes you got to look for areas where it might be a little weird, but in terms of how the text is wrapping, but in general that kind of just shows you why Illustrator can be such a powerful tool to use for making books and booklets because you can put the graphics across the sheets. You can make a really attractive, easy to use like graphic layout for your booklet. Now if you want to save this file, you just simply go up to File and you can hit Save and then choose where you want to save everything. Make sure that you name it accurately. Booklet. And then if you want it to be an InDesign so that you can come back in and keep working in InDesign to build this project, make sure that you save it as a .indd file. So hit Save. And now that project has been saved. If I want to print this, for those of people who are in my class, there's definitely special instructions in our lab. You have to create a PDF first and then you go to Adobe Acrobat to print that PDF. But just to kind of show you how to make a PDF, I'm going to go up to File and I'm going to choose Print. I have Adobe PDF right here. Since I'm already working in and signed into Adobe, the Adobe PDF works. Sometimes if you don't have Adobe uh, PDF, you might want to try Microsoft Print to PDF. But I'm going to stick with Adobe PDF. And what I just want to make sure is that everything is current. So yes, I do want to print all pages. Now please note if you don't have anything, like I currently don't have anything in my cover page, it's probably not going to print. I'm also going to go to setup over here on the left hand side and I just want to make sure that it's set correctly. Sometimes when you have like an 11 by 17, it still defaults to a paper size of letter. So in that case, you either want to find 11 by 17 or the other terminology that can sometimes be in here is tabloid. That's the other fancy name for 11 by 17. But it looks like everything's looking good and this thumbnail looks great. Nothing is being scaled. Everything looks proper. So just always check your general and your setup. And as long as those look good, all you have to do is hit print. 
And yeah, it's telling me that I have overset text because I kind of adjusted uh, the uh, text box here. So I'm just going to say OK. And then it wants me to save that PDF somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Sometimes it takes a little time, but it definitely did save to my documents folder that I told it to save. In a nutshell, that's all you need to know about how to set up an InDesign project for a book or booklet that you may need to make for a school project.